Yes, let's talk about hockey. The show that journeys through the history of the sport of ice hockey from its disputed origins to the game we see today. While the NHL is the clear-cut major league in North America, east of the Atlantic, there are about 22 different major leagues operating in Russia and across Europe. Though the KHL is certainly the largest league over there, it primarily operates in Russia, with only 6 out of its 27 teams based in other countries. So, of the remaining 20-some-odd leagues, which can say it boasts the best talent? Well, that's where the Champions Hockey League comes in. Started in 2006 as the Nordic Trophy, the original tournament was between four teams from the Elitserien in Sweden and four teams from the SM Liga in Finland who played seven games each from early August to early September before a final winner-take-all match between the top two clubs determined the tournament's winner. Sweden's Färjestad BK would defeat Finland's Karpat Oulu 5-1 in the tournament's final game on September 9, 2006 to win the first Nordic Trophy. For the 2008 tournament, the number of teams increased from 8 to 10 with the addition of an extra club from each league. In 2009, though, the Finnish teams dropped out of the tournament and formed their own addition, so that that year there was a Swedish Nordic Trophy champion and a Finnish Nordic Trophy champion. In 2010, the Swedish and Finnish teams combined together again, while seven new clubs join in from the GET Liga in Norway, the DEL in Germany, the Extra Liga in the Czech Republic, the National League in Switzerland, and the EBEL in Austria to bring the total number of competing teams to 18. Since this had now expanded beyond the Nordic countries, the tournament was rebranded as the European Trophy instead. With the large spike in participation, the tournament's structure was altered as well. The teams were split into two divisions and would play eight intra-division games before the top four teams from each group squared off for a playoff round. The playoffs consisted of three single-game elimination rounds culminating in bronze and gold medal games. After going 6-2 during the qualifying round, and pulling off 4-1 and 5-1 wins in the first two playoff rounds, Isperin Berlin from Germany's DEL would beat HV71 Jaschapink 5-3 in the gold medal game to claim the first championship under the tournament's new identity. Over the next two years, the contest continued to grow, with 24 teams participating in 2011 and 32 in 2012. And even though the single Norwegian team dropped out after the 2010 tournament, the Extra Liga in Slovakia would add a team, while all of the other leagues already a part of the tournament upped their representation as well. With the increase in teams, the tournament was divided into four divisions instead of two, with the division winners and best scoring division runner-ups qualifying for the playoff rounds. During this time, Austria's Red Bull Salzburg, Sweden's Lula HF, and Finland's Jop would claim the gold at the 2011, 2012, and 2013 European trophies, respectively. On December 9, 2013, just before the tournament's playoff round began, the governing body of the European trophy, the IIHF, announced that the contest would once again be rebranded for the 2014-2015 season, this time as the Champions Hockey League, in reference to a similar tournament the IIHF held once in 2008-2009. Under this new identity, membership jumped to 44 teams, with representatives from the Danish Metal League, the French League Magnus, and the UK's Elite Ice Hockey League joining in as well as the Norwegian GET Ligan returning with two teams in the tournament too. Now teams were split into 11 groups and played six intra-group games from August to October, with the top team from each group along with the five best runner-ups qualifying for the playoffs, which was extended to four rounds with one round being played per month from November to February. It would be an all-Sweden gold medal game this year, as Lula Hockey defeated Frolunda HC 4-2. Frolunda HC would be back though, winning back-to-back -back gold medals in 2016 and 2017, while the Belarusian Extra League and the Polska Hockey Liga began participating in the tournament during this time as well. 
from a small tournament between two leagues from two countries to one that includes 13 countries and leagues, the Champions Hockey League has come a long way in a short while.